for U of L and a CG honoring Clinton Glasscock. Classmate of mine at St. X, who died earlier this year, that a, former, a Bellarmine booster. As we're ready to go here, as JJ Trainer wins the tip, and here is Sky Clark. Yeah, Trainer gets a start. Dennis Evans uh, only played three minutes against the Aggies. As Louisville gets a corner three for Mike James to start him off. Trey White, little ball movement early on. It's a Bellarmine team that's going to be very patient. They're going to make the extra pass a lot of times. Work the shot clock down as we see it there. And a bucket. Into the lane for Garrett Tipton. Tipton you got to be disciplined on defense against this team. And Tipton showed us last year he's able to drive to the basket and score in the paint. And he can also hit the three. There you go. They really go through the gauntlet early in the season. A suitor gets all the way to the basket. It's easy, too, and it is 7 3 nights. Huntley Hatfield there for the rebound. White makes a little move. Shot up, here we go for Trey White. Watch Tipton away from the ball. Tipton is number 10. He moves as well as anybody away from the ball. It likes a little turnaround jumper there from Whelan, the hook shot. 10 on the shot clock for Louisville. Just the two field goals in the early one. James to the basket, the left-handed shot goes in. Two for three for from three in the early going. Williams is a guy who, yeah, if he gets some looks, he's gonna be able to shoot it. He's, he's got, does a little bit of everything. Suter again with Ivanovich on him. Whelan drives on Glenn, turns in the lane and hits. Smith on the cut in the lane. Back out to Whelan. Six on the shot clock for Bellerman. Back, kicks it out to Smith for the three and he got it. The pedigree of these Bellarmine players, winners in high school. <laughs> Suter, a starter on two state championship teams at Carmel. Is. Des McKinney to Garrett, tipped it for the slam. Knights on an 11-3 run. You can't see. Yeah. He was pretty adamant about it. Yeah, the it officials looked, didn't see it. They it looked like he. It looked like he was on the underneath there. Is, and there's, there's the an first back cut of mm -hmm. the evening. Three-point shooter. shooter or... Trainer, oh, Trainer could have just turned and shot it. White all the way to the basket, up and in, and that'll be big to give the cards a little bit of momentum heading into the locker room. Kicks it over to Clark for three, and Sky able to hit the triple, his second three of the night. Nothing special there. Tyler just getting the ball to him, and he's in the corner, open for the three. Well, McKinney just takes Johnson right to the basket and gets the easy two. But here's the, foul here's is the play. Frame. We see Scott Clark with a triple from the corner. Tyler drawing the defense and, and kicking it over to Sky for the open three. Ten on the shot clock for the cards. Clark gets to the basket and an easy two for him. Tipped him back in for Bellerman as the cards on this possession with a chance to take the lead. Tyler all the way to the basket. Huntley Hatfield with a nice catch and he scores. That and that's something we haven't seen in a while. And I would think you'd go right back to Huntley Hatfield. going to say the cards have taken this lead by not settling for bad threes driving and then that's the third bad three we've seen uh, Tyler Johnson shoot tonight Freeman with a baseline jumper got it and Bellerman is back within seven so the Knights showing a little bit of life here with 8.50 to play and it was that dunk on the break right? Yes that it was. was his last basket. That was his last basket. Suter to Whelan and he gets a clean lane right to the basket. I think Bellerman will let this possession go, and then Scotty Davenport does like to stretch out the game. So, swing it, six on the shot clock. Inside the trainer for the overhead slam, and the Louisville lead is six. Wow, that's a great possession from Louisville. The skip pass from White, the three-pointer from Bellerman off the mark. We're going to get a foul. The drive by White in the corner, and look at the ball movement. 19 points, the lead is six. 
30 seconds and counting. Freem all the way to the basket, and I thought White might have got a piece of it, but it still goes in, and Bellarmine has cut the lead to four, and they'll use their final timeout. You've got time. I still think right now, now I think you got to go for a three. Let's McKinney see what they is did. probably going to go to the basket on Johnson, I'm guessing he does, and he gets the easy two with 17.8 left against New Mexico State. And hitting them under some pretty serious game pressure here right now. See if McKinney goes again to the basket. No, they're going to go for the three now. And Smith's three from the corner is good. And it's a two-point game with nine seconds left. As they come down the floor and just not sure where Huntley Hatfield was on that one. Coming out late, Clark playing off the ball. Bellman, after committing, after being caught for only three personal fouls in that first half, and all really in the final minute, with 1.8 seconds left to go, a double double. No, he does not get the double double. But Louisville will get out of here with a win, and the Cards are four and three heading into ACC play on Sunday.